I'm confused. What is the difference between this and this? I have bought two pairs of them from Edwin. One belong to the European collection, the other belong to the Japanese collection. Let's do the comparison. Let's go to a characteristic construction fitting and see which one is worthwhile. See you inside. Okay, these are the two jeans. This belong to the European uh, Edwin Europe and this belong to uh, Edwin Japan. These are brand new, brand, brand, brand new, just uh, I received no, no long ago. And these are from uh, two months ago. It's a dead stock because these are ED80, which is slim tapper, and the, the, the jeans doesn't uh, call anymore uh, in, by numbers. Now it's described a fitting. For example, now it's, it's what it was formerly AD80 is now a slim tapper. I was wearing this in daily basis, uh, trying for two months, uh, no washes. Um, I choose a slim tapper because I like it and I dress, need to dress a little bit smart at office, which I usually wear shoes or boots, mostly boots, nine shoes and a shirt. But anyway, this fit the bill. And the price wise was about 160 pounds or so. 160 pounds, I think, was formerly 200 pounds. This salvage is not rainbow, it's red salvage. It's red salvage, as you've seen, are made in Tunisia. They are not made anymore in Tunisia now, they are made in Turkey. Uh, at least is what I, I found in the, my research. And uh, the origin of the denim, the, uh, Edwin in general, whether it's Japan, uh, whether it's Europe or USA, when they use Japanese made uh, denim, belong to three mills. Uh, Nihon Menpo, um, Kurabo, or Kaihara. To me, the, the I'm gonna tell you, uh, tell you later, what, what, how uh, they pick this. I think this, because these are 30 nones, are, uh, are Kaihara denim, red Kaihara denim, 30 nones, 30, 30, 25 ounce, is Haiti, I don't know if you can see, it's a Haiti denim, and then fade quite fast. You see, it start to fading already. You see, where I sit, start to fading. Uh, the patch is leather, cowhide leather. Yeah? It's leather, no, just the name has no the, the inscription in, in Japanese. Uh, pockets with the symbol of Edwin. Okay, symbol of Edwin, the same here. The threads are, are, are not are yellow nor gold, yellow in this case. Front, there we have the five pockets. The clock or coin pocket has a red salvage inside. You see, it's, it's are, are fading really, really fast, really fast. This has at least, uh, I was wearing this in, in, in daily basis, Sunday to Sunday or Monday to Monday as you like it. But look at the, the, the salvage, start to, to, there has no wash this, uh, no socking. And they start wearing, yeah, wearing off the, the start to showing the fades here. Okay. Look at this construction. Let's going to see inside. Um, one thing, pockets. The pockets. There is a problem. Yeah, there is a problem. Are very tiny, very tiny pockets. I barely I can put my my. My wallet is I use a um, tracker wallet is 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 not there is no nice space uh, and the widest part usually had problem due to this. You see how is the finish? How is the finish? Okay, then let's go inside. Inside out. Cloth. The cloth is 100% uh, cotton. It's really thick. It's really good. It's really good. I, I can't say nothing or a uh, different thing. I 
can say different things. The construction is very clean and very nice. Look at the, the there is no sloppy construction, there is no losing threads. Look at the, the salvage here. Salvage here is chain stitch all the way, chain stitch, chain stitch and the hem, and hem too. It's not filled seams, okay? It's overlocked and chain stitch. Okay, you see? Overlocked and chain stitch. Uh, the, um, the rivets are metal rivets with the stamp of the name, eh? Are metal rivets. Metal rivets. No, no other things. Uh, button has donut button, eh? Donut button. Only the top one has stamp the, the, the name of Edwin, the rest are plain, okay? Japanese cloth, okay? Japanese cloth. This, this again, this denim looks like it's uh, from Kaihara, do the characteristics. Uh, I have been already so many Kaihara, uh, Kaihara denim in my hand that this looks like characteristic of Kaihara. Bar tacking, there is no hidden rivets, bar tacking, yeah, uh, chain stitch all the way, chain stitch, construction, really good, it's really good. Yeah. The, the uh, bell loops are simple, bird tacking and riset, yeah. riset bed loops. This is something that not all the brands do, sometimes give a, a special characteristic to the jean, but not all the brands do this. And what else? I think that's it. And you see how it's bleeding inside too. It's really, really fast. I really like the, the fitting of these jeans. I really like the fitting. I really like the fitting. I enjoy wearing this a lot. I'm very comfortable, are not really stiff. But I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased. But I think the denim itself is not the best, one of the best. Of course, the price is, is in, in relation with that. Let's see how the, the measurements. This after wearing, this remember 34, this already has 18, 18 and a half. That's it's become 37 for me, 37, which more or less is, is my, my, my size, my waist size. This is a low rise, medium low rise. Then the front rise, Let's check out the front rise. The front rise is 11, 11.2, 11 11.2. The back rise, the back rise is 15.8. Medium rise, medium low rise. The tide, the tide, this is size 34, 34, 32. The tide is, 12 and a half, tight 12 and a half, the knee. See the knee. It's amazing how these are, are fade so fast. It's 8.6, 8.6, and the hem is 7 and a half. The hem I'm 7 and a half. That means this has stretch at least one inch, at least one inch. I'd say maybe a little bit more, but uh, they stretch really easily. It's not a really tight wave. It's not a tight wave, which is very important uh, because this provides comfort, but at the same time are easy to stretch. Look at the difference between this and this. Look at the difference, see? Difference is amazing. I, I'm really, I'm really, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the fit but not, I'm not happy with them, um, with in the way where they are evolved this denim. The people who like fades and fast fades, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. This is fade really, really fast. Uh, it's all related with with uh, the denim that they use. How many, how many, how many layers of uh, dye has uh, every fiber? But well, these are the European made. Uh, um, Edwin using Japanese clothes that I think belong to Kaihara. Kaihara then due to, his, due to the way the characteristics 
and the uh, the how is the the salvage itself, the red salvage. There is something that that uh, before to, to move on with the next is I I, I want to to remark. Everyone talking about the um, rainbow salvage in Edwin. The um, rainbow salvage of Edwin uh, is produced mainly in 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 how is in Curabo and Kaihara mills. And there is some from uh, Nihon uh, Mempu. In theory, the longest relation of Edwin, Edwin Japan with, uh, with uh, Mills, the longest one is with uh, Nihon Mempu. To, to me, the Nihon Mempu are one of the best uh, mass producers denim from Japan. It's, to me, that's my appreciation. Uh, thinking about the, my collection things, uh, uh, thinking about the um, uh, um, rock territory used at the beginning, Ninkum Bempu, which top-notch quality was 15 ounces. Here it's a little bit lighter. Let's go to uh, the Japanese version. This is a Japanese version. In theory, these are um, carried by uh, the Nimio, but belong in exclusivity to the concept shops in Japan. This only can be found in Japan, this, uh, this uh, slim, slim tapered uh, special edition. This belongs to the collection EDS, EDS, and they use Ninho Mempo Denim. Ninho Mempo Denim. And it's coming with this tag, yeah, this tag. Okay, they give characteristic that, uh, that they say that we can put in your pocket. And, and get the, the, the mark in your pocket with this this tag. Um, the, the leather patch is cowhide. Yeah, it's cowhide, say made in Japan. In theory, you cannot find outside the Japan this the, this uh, Edwin. It looks very different, very very different. The denim itself. This is 14 ohms, 14 ohms. But the characteristic of the denim is very very different. This is. 3434. If you see the construction is the characteristics is the same. These are um, how is the small pocket, but it's one of the problems of the um, using gold gold thread. They use gold thread. You see? And the then is completely different. It's not hairy like this, like this this one. See, I don't know if you can appreciate it, it's more hairy, and this, it is not. I see a different kind of, uh, of denim. And has, the salvage is rainbow salvage, rainbow salvage. And it's stiffer than there was this at the beginning. Let's see now the characteristics of the, the jean itself. We already seen, the main characteristic, the main difference is the fact that they wear this, um, uh, how is, is, is this uh, orange thread or gold thread, gold thread, are not rice uh, loop bells, are not rice loop bells for sure, and has donut buttons, the same four, no branding, no branding this, the only brand is this. The rivets, another different, are copper rivets. Are copper rivets. Yeah, are copper rivets. Inside the pocket has the rainbow salvage. Okay. Is look at this. Let's go for inside. They say the 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 way they construct this this uh, or they 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 construct these shins or the, the, the main machines is try to avoid the uh, twist of the leg. Are feel a little bit heavier and with more spirit machines really. See the cloth, a herringbone cloth, herringbone cloth is completely different the other is far better quality. Is chain stitch, yeah, chain stitch all the way, yeah. And you see this characteristic, the, the thing. For the uh, genus stitch to put together the, the denim has two colors. 
is gold outside and white inside. Okay? Bartakin, 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 and he we finish with the difference. There are some difference. Okay, this, this is important. The other is leather jacket, this leather patch, but it's not cowhide for sure. Probably it's goat. But they're thick. Okay. Let's go to the measurements. Well, this label. Okay, let's go to the measurements. Let's see how is the measurement 34, 34, and how is the rest of the things. Okay. Then, if we go to see the waist, let's change here. Okay, these are 18, 18. Remember, it's stretch one inch. This is stretch one inch. Yeah? The other was 18.5. This is one inch. Then, the front rise, the front rise is 11.8. The back rise, the back rise, let's see how is the back rise. <laughs> this looks of feel better construction. 15, 9, 59, the tide are more or less the same measurements, eh? more or less the same measurements. See the tide? The tide is 12.5. Eight, twelve point eight. The knee. There is a slight difference. Looks like it's a little bit um, looser. This fit. Eight, eight point eight, and the hem is seven point two. That's mean has more tapering. This has more tapering, and it has is more roomy in the top block. Small room in the top block and has more tapper in the, in the leg. Then, so far we have two denims which are in theory are uh, using Japanese cloth denim, uh, one made in US in Europe or for the Europe um, branch or. The, really, there are not not uh, uh, economical relation. They share the brand. But there is no economical relation between these. Uh, these are um, how it's isolated. In matter of fact, Edwin Japan carries Lee and Wrangler too, in in Japan, which are different different game. That's the Lee and the Wrangler from there are, are, looks like are fantastic. But anyway, um, so far, that's the main difference. The, the patch. This is cowhide. This is not cowhide. Looks like goat could be. Uh, look at the color, it's, it's different. Um, this has riser uh, belts, this not. This has copper rivet, this has metal rivets. The bottoms are the same. Looks, looks less, less quality, looks less quality, the European version than the Japanese version. This is my, my, my impression. Uh, the denim is completely different. Eh? Um, uh, Kaihara versus uh, um, uh, Nihon Menpu, there is, there is a huge difference. I never have a Kurabo in my hand, but this is another um, meal that source uh, Edwin. Uh, what about the um, European, Edwin Europe, we saw uh, Japan made, um, Japan made uh, Edwin. They has a collaboration, very close collaboration between the two Edwins, and they carried some uh, Japan made. It's not the same. If you go to the uh, website of the Edwin Europe or Edwin uh, USA, you're gonna see the characteristic of the um, the jeans that sell there, made in Japan, are not not the same. Anyway, let's go for the fitting. And let's give you my final thoughts. Three. Okay, this is how fit these this jeans. I will see. Okay, the front. I don't wear any belt. Side. Side. The back. The other side. Okay. See, this the fit. I, I'm really like how fit this. I, I'm really like and looks very smart fitting. But anyway, 
Let's see the next, what you think, and final thoughts. Okay, this is how it fit the uh, Japanese version, the slim tapered from Edwin. It's more room in the top block, for sure, 100%. The feel of the denim is completely different. Ninhan Benpo is top notch denim in this case they use here. Let's see the front, okay? The side, the back, the other side. Okay, I think these are far, far better than the, the European version, the sellage, the blue, red line. Uh, keep in mind that the rainbow uh, sellage they use in European uh, or in Europe or USA is mainly provided by Kaihara. This is rainbow sellage from Nihon Mempu. Anyway, let's give you my, my final thoughts about this. Okay, before to move forward with the final thoughts, uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Help me to grow this channel. What do you think? Let's talk about first the European. 160 pounds, 180 pounds, it's not worth it, for sure, 100%. Uh, the construction, the quality of the construction is not up to. Uh, the denim, I already wore almost two months and it started to fade in. If you like the fades, it's the way to go, but try to buy in sale this uh, this uh, denim. You can find it. Uh, I, I find many, many places where sell, uh, sell uh, these jeans on sale. In the other hand, the Ewen Japan, this belong to the EDS collection, which is, is, is a permanent collection in, in the concept store in Japan. Now it's available in the Nimio that give the chance to try this with one good thing, the price is very affordable. I pay 110 10, uh, pounds for this, oh, 120, 30 dollars. I think that really worth it. the construction, the quality is completely different level. And these are made in the only factory that I have uh, within Japan. Uh, then, I do recommend these jeans. Yes, I recommend if you buy uh, on sale or if you buy from, from Japan, this EDS edition. I hope you enjoyed this, this video. See you in the next. Bye.